everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, welcome back to our review uh, series. And one of the reasons I decided to do this uh, review series is I'm so used to having people come into my store and, you know, take a look at kits. We can open up stuff and show them what it looks like inside, give them a general idea of how a kit is. If it's like way too many parts, way too few parts, uh, things like that. You know, that, you know, sometimes you look at a box art and the box art looks really cool, but is it something that you can tackle? Or is, it might just be too much for you on it right there. So this whole line of uh, review videos that we're going to be doing, we're going to tear them completely apart. We eventually will build all of these, but to start off, we want to give you guys an idea of what's going to be inside the box. So today we're going to be looking at the new Ryfield Models Panzer IV J. And this is a late J. And it has all of the metal uh, mesh screens on the side as well as on the top there. It is a beautiful looking kit. It has full workable suspension and tracks on it. So you can put it all in different types of positions and moves. And I just hope that these videos will be offer a little bit of... Uh, a little clarity so when you look at and you see something like this you can go hey that is really cool I want to build that because of that so let's get started okay guys let's take a look at the Ryfield model Panzer 4J late production uh, this is a kit that has complete workable tracks as well as workable suspension. So if you want to put this in some kind of action pose like on a diorama, uh, it could be going over railroad tracks or going over bumps and rocks, things like that. You can actually change the suspension around and make it look like it's more of a, an action scene as opposed to just sitting on a flat surface. And because it's a late model, they also give you four different types of return rollers so you can make different variations on that. I personally love the Panzer IV J late and that is because of these mesh screens and for the longest time there wasn't really a good kit out on the market and from what I hear about this one this one's supposed to be excellent uh, the screens are beautiful plus also there's a set of screens for the top here which a lot of people don't notice but we will show you those as well so looks to be a very nice kit we're gonna show it to you right now of course but there is a lot of parts in this kit no interior but a lot of detail parts so let's take a look at those right now and since we're talking about the mesh screens let's go ahead and show you those first and foremost these are the top screens I was telling you about and they go along you know the screen goes right here and this will beat right up here and go right on top leading up to the uh, the hull of the vehicle and you can see how nicely those have been done and the screens actually for the side skirts so really nice photo etch that is a, a great amount of photo etch and it's gonna really add some nice detail to the the vehicle having it done this way the hull let's take a look at the hull hull is a multi-piece hull That's all the inside stuff right there. So you can see some really nice detail on all of this thing. And we'll kind of go through the different sprues here. This is the tool sprue and some of the other accessories. So then you got your clippers, your shovels. They give you multiple different types of shovel there. This looks like the shovel that's on the, the tiger on the, uh, the front uh, glacis plate of the tiger. Not sure what the heck these are. I have not seen that before. I'm sure it's for something inside the kit, but uh, and actually there's another set inside there as well. Machine gun bullets, tow cables. In fact, I wonder if this sprue gets shared with some of the other ones because those are really large tow cables right there. I believe these are off of a Tiger. Now we'll take a look at the, the wheels and the suspension pieces. And there is going to be a decent amount of parts in these, and that is because obviously you're going to make them work. So you've got the leaf springs down here, road wheels, uh, more parts of the suspension. And as you can see, There is a decent amount of parts for that. So you get two copies of that sprue, obviously for one for each side. So that's that's just for one side of the Panzer IV. 
here is the turret. Very nicely done with the weld seams, I think. And we have also the bottom of the turret. Doors, more of the shielding up on top, and some of the brackets for the skirts. Here's some more of those things I was telling you about. I have to figure out what the heck those things are. <laughs> those are really odd. We've got some inside detail. So we've got the gun here, a slide molded muzzle brake. And these parts right here are also slide molded. And then you've got all of the parts for the breech. Looking like they give you two different variants on that. And the, the uh, shell bag right there. You get a couple of different types of lower part of the, uh, the turret. So that's actually two and three version and it looks like there's a turret a turret basket floor and actually here's some of the arms that hold that on so there is I guess a little bit of detail inside there and we can see how the, the cupola goes together with the individual slide in parts on it but wait there's more there's more parts coming <laughs> Here are our fenders, and here are the brackets for holding the, the photo etch screens on the side, as well as these are the, the screen holders as well for the tops that we were showing you earlier there. More sprue parts. Okay, so we have our rear portion of our skirt here for the turret, some spare track, all kinds of accessories. Once again, all these muzzle brakes, which they give you quite a few in this kit, are all slide molded. And lastly, for the big sprues, is the upper hull. Okay, these are the bags that make up the tracks. And I'm going to show you, I pulled out one piece out of each one of them. There is our track, there is the hole in the track, and then there is the track pin. Track pin will slide, this will actually be pretty easy just to cut these off, do a little sanding on those, we'll have that done, and then you'll be able to just slide the track pin right in there. It only has to go in just a tiny little amount just to lock the two together, and then the tracks will completely work. So, uh, I'm actually kind of impressed with that because I thought that could have been a lot more work to do, and I don't think that will be. I think it'll go together pretty quickly and easily on those. And the only other last two little pieces we have, these are those return rollers, another set of the return rollers up here. And we also almost forgot to show you the turret basket, and that comes on its own little sprue here as well. Decals in the kit are going to give you a couple variations of tank. Uh, so you can get those different ones on there. And I've used their, theirs in the past, and their decals are pretty good, so we shouldn't have any problem with those. Okay, and of course, the other question I always get on uh, on these review videos is please show the, the instructions just to give us an idea of how they go together. And Ryfield does some really nice instructions, so lots of color inside of it. Of course, there's always a breakdown of all the sprues. So you can see right there when I was talking about, there are a decent amount of parts in here. Then you get your color plates for doing either winter or a western front in the Ardennes. More winter white wash ones really cool looking. Now what I like about these on here are when they're adding a lot of the different parts they'll put some of the parts in on, on multiple colors so we're, we're noticing more and more stuff is getting put on you know sometimes when they're putting on like 20 or 30 parts on a step you sometimes miss some or at least I do I sometimes miss a few of them but this helps out a lot to show you hey these are the parts that are gonna get put in place and they do that throughout this here same thing with the photo etch they show the photo etch parts as in photo etch brass color. In fact, um, the suspension, they're showing you the different colors and how the tracks, there is a track jig inside that you can go ahead and put, just stack those tracks up, slide them in, 
boom, it's ready to go. So I don't think those tracks would be very difficult. And just give you an idea of how the whole kit goes together. So other than the fact that it's a lot of parts, I don't think it's going to be a very difficult kit. In fact, there's probably a lot of these parts in here that are duplicates, that are on sprues, you know, that they had to reuse for other, other kits. Well, there you go, guys. There is a quick look inside of the new Rifle Models Panzer IV J Late with the workable tracks and workable suspension. Um, I don't know about you. I think it's something we all can tackle. It, there's a little extra parts that compared to some of the other, but it's not a full interior kit that's going to bog us down for a long, long time. So, I, based on the parts looking at it, I would think the majority of you guys out there would be able to handle this one. Now, I do plan on building this one. Unfortunately, it's probably like fourth or fifth on the pile of stuff I have to do. But, hey, I've got a lot of time on my hands, so maybe we'll be able to get around to it quicker than I think. It looks like a nice kit. It's a, a reasonable price. They are available on our website right now at andyshq.com. If you want to take a look at them and see any more information about it, you can go onto the website right there and take a look. So, I hope you enjoyed this new line of review videos. We have, of course, many more of them coming. Because, And as new stuff comes out, we'll be doing that as well. So, I want to thank you guys as always for watching. Please stay tuned. We have many more videos coming.